Dream by Susan Bozak. Once, long ago, when all the stars were born, I was a baby. My favourite colour was yellow, the colour of the sun that peeked in my window in the morning. When you're a baby, you're cuddled and comforted in your own cosy little world. You smile and gurgle and fuss and cry and get fed and need changing and sleep and dream. When my legs began to take me places, my favourite colours were bright like a rip-roaring red. There's a whole word to it, world to explore. Watching bubbles burst in your bath, tasting honey on toast, smelling every single flower in the garden, listening to laughter and thunder, touching your mother's face and your very own toes. As I got bigger, my favourite colours were those of a rainbow, like the violet arc across the sky, so real I could almost reach up and touch it. There's a whole world to imagine. Castles in your backyard, pumpkins transformed into gilded carriages, fairy friends who play with you all day, monsters that crouch in dark corners at night, wishes you make on stars. When I became a teenager, I liked blue. Everyone likes blue. There's a whole world to figure out. You think about finally growing up. Who you are. What's important. Where you're going. Why you're going there. When the, ti when the right time is. How it all fits together. And you think about having a good time along the way. When I was a grown up, young and strong, my favourite colours were simple black and white. It was easy to tell yes from no. There's a whole world to conquer and you know exactly what you want. To make your own way, to be okay, to belong, to know things, to be you and make a mark on the world. Great men and great women some famous, most not. Great ideas, the impossible made possible. Great hopes and joys, fears and sorrows, and all the living in between. But as the days became years that spun by, my simple black and white world turned grey, the colour of a dismal day. You hear so many voices, no way, they say, you're dreaming. Or to yourself you say, things weren't supposed to be this way. You get tired or maybe confused or scared. Maybe there's just too much, too big, too long, too hard. And all you want to do is hide your head under the covers of your bed. It was grey, grey, grey. And then something happened. It will always happen if you're looking. It might be a smile, a wink, a nod from someone you don't know. It might be a hug from someone who loves you. It might be a word or an idea carried on the wind from others. Or it might be a little nudge from deep inside you. Get up. And then you understand the secret to dreaming a dream that is. I was older and strong once again. My favourite colour was green, the colour of go and the colour of grow. I understand that the world at its best is green. Dreams grow like seeds. They need to take root, then stretch towards the sun. They grow slowly. They must be tended to. And sometimes a grey day gives them just the rain they need. 
there's something else too. I understood that to grow a dream you need more than the one I was. You need the belief of childhood, the do of youth and the think of experience. You need all three. There's the wisdom to fill a tooth, simple and not so simple, all at once. Believe, do, think, so dream a dream with me. Now, I am very, very old. My favourite colour? Yellow. The colour of the billion, billion stars that sparkle in the night sky. I have dreamed a lifetime of dreams. I reached many of them. Not all, but many. Many also changed along the way. What I have most are fine memories. When you're old as I am, you still dream dreams, but they're different. Mostly, they're wishes for those who follow. Look up into the billions, billions sparkling stars that dreams. What dreams do you find? Little dreams, big dreams, each a hope looking for a life to make it real. A life like yours. Be a dreamer. With everything around you. With everything before and after you. With everything that is you. Dream a dream. Your very own dream.